All right, so for module six, lesson nine, this is the very last lesson in mission six. And there's going to be a really long test and it won't be open book and you can't use any notes. Just kidding. There is no test, okay? So we're just going to move on to mission or module seven. So the objective for M module six, lesson nine is this, analyze data to problem solve. So once again, we're looking at the data, we're looking at um, the different types of graphs and we're answering questions about the graphs. So that's what that means. So the first thing we're going to do is solve problems with categorical data. So things that have categories. So here's an example. So this graph is the money spent at the fair. That's the title. And here we have the money spent and the item or activity. So there's games, food, parking, and rides. And you can see that they spent 30 in games, 25 in food, uh, I think five in parking and 35 on rides. So what we're going to do is we're going to answer questions about this data. So the question says, the friends, the friends take a total of $120 to the fair. How much do they have left after the fair? So the first thing you have to do is find out how much they spent and subtract the total, subtract that from the total. So here's what we did. So I looked at that graph, I went back to the graph and I see 30, 25, five and 35. I'm going to plug those in 30, 25, 5, and 35. I add all those together and my total is 95. Now I have to take this and I have to subtract 95 from the total. So that is what I did. Total, this is the total, 120. And I'm subtracting 95 from it. My answer is 25. I don't just stop right there. I make sure that I write a math, a complete math sentence. The friends have $25 left over from could keep saying expand from the fair. Okay. The second thing that you're going to do, and you'll probably do this on Zern, is you're going to solve problems that have measurement data. So before we were looking at data from a fair and how much money was spent, some categorical data. Now we're looking at measurement data, something that's measured. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so here's another graph. This is a line plot, and it is called Crayfish Lengths from Mr. Nye's Class. So here are the lengths in inches. And also down here, we have, what is this called? Uh, ooh, a key. So 1x equals 1 crayfish. So here are all the measurements. If we're just taking a look at it, you could see that the one that has the most is three inches, and the one that has the least is two inches. Let's read the question. It says, what is the total length of all the crayfish that are three inches long? So you could say that six fish are three inches long. If we go back to the graph, the ones that are three inches, we have one, two, three, four, five, six and they're each three inches long. So, so you can multiply six times three to get your length of, or to get your total of 18 inches. OK, 
Okay, so that would be the end of that module. Congratulations. If you already finished it on Zern, you did great. So now we're looking at module seven, lesson one. This is a new module. This is a lot of review, um, but this is something we did talk about, uh, I would say in around January or February. And it is, the objective is solving word problems using a letter to represent the unknown. So what we don't know is represented with a letter. So X equals the unknown. Sometimes you'll see that. So can P, N, A, U, Q, Z, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, all of that can represent the unknown. Here's a tip. Always use the R, D, W process when solving word problems. That means read the problem, draw something to help you solve that problem, and then make sure you're writing your answer. You're also writing in a complete sentence when you have your answer because we don't just walk out the door when we're finished and just write an answer. You have to tell me in a math sentence. So here's the question. Lena's family goes to the Fall Fest. Use RDW, what's RDW? Read, draw, write, to solve the problems about Lena's visit. Use a letter to represent the unknown. What we don't know, we're going to use a letter. So right here is a graph with some important information, a key, I should say, with some important information for the Fall Fest. So the hay rides. One adult ticket is $7, and a child ticket is $4. So we're going to need that information for solving the next two questions to these word problems with the unknown. Let's read it. It says, Lena's family buys two adult tickets and two child tickets for the hayride. How much does it cost Lena's family to go on the hay hayride? So we have to think about the R D W process. So first we have to read it. So let's just read it again. Lena's family buys two adult and two child tickets for the hayride. How much does it cost Lena's family to go on the hayride? So what are we doing? Are we multiplying, dividing, subtracting, or adding? So we have to do some addition. Good. Let's do that now. So the next thing I need to do is, so I read the question. Now I need to draw. So let's draw. I'm going to make one of these, Ooh. okay? And C is going to equal the cost. How much is this going to cost all together? Now, I know that there are, in the problem, there are two adult and two child. And if I go back to the graph here, an adult ticket is $7 and a child ticket is $4. So if there's two adults, one is going to be $7. And there's two adults, so another one is $7. And then there are two children and the children's tickets are $4 each. So here, my C equals the cost, so the cost all together. I have my two adult tickets and my two children, child's tickets. And now let's add them all together. So C, that's our unknown. We don't know what the cost is all together yet. So C equals seven plus seven plus four plus four. Seven plus seven is 14. Four plus four is eight. 14 plus 8 equals 22, or C equals 22. But I can't just walk away from this problem now, right? I can't just say, oh, it's 22. 22 what? 22 bananas? 22 
uh, monkeys? No. Okay. Sorry, I lost my page for a minute. Okay. It costs... It costs Lena's family... Twenty twenty two dollars to go on the hayride. Period. And then you're done. So remember to read, draw, and write. We read the question at least twice. We drew a picture to help us and then we wrote and we wrote our answer. Good. Number two. It says Lena's mom pays for the ticket with five dollar bills. She receives three in change. How many bills does Lena's mom use to pay for the hayride? Okay. So remember, read, draw, right so let's read it again lena's mom pays for the ticket with five dollar bills she receives three dollars in change how many bills does lena's mom use to pay for the hayride so what is the unknown let's say b for bills equals the unknown and let's work on that so I'm going to make a tape diagram here, and I know that the total altogether is $22. Okay. It's $22, and she gets $3 back in change. The total, 22 plus 3, is $25. Okay. So then I'm going to make another tape diagram here. She paid in $5 bills. One equals five. Another one here equals five. And here's my unknown, B. What I don't know, what I'm trying to figure out. So here, <clears throat> you know, this equals 25. And B equals 25 divided by five which gives me five. So that's how I know that Lena's mom used five five dollar bills to pay for the hayride. That's what I'm going to write here. Lena's mom used five five dollar bills to pay for the hayride. Okay. Did I read the question? Yes. Did I draw a picture to help my math thinking? Yes. Did I write? Did I write the answer? Did I work through it? Yes. And that are some that is an example of some of the things you will be working on. Happy zerning.